In the previous video, we saw an expression that had both multiplication and addition. So with those two operations, the question became, in what order are they performed? So that brings us to the subject of precedence. Now, let's write a similar expression. Let's go with 10, perhaps this time, times 5, plus 2. Python interprets this and gives us, in the interactive environment, this echoed value of 52. So this was obtained by taking 10 times 5, so the multiplication was done first, and then to that was added 2. So it produced 52 in the interactive environment. That's echoed back to us. But now let's turn things around. Let's write 2 plus 5 times 10. And then let's ask the question, does this equal the addition? If that's done first, we get 2 plus 5. That would be 7. And then multiplied by 10. So does this give us 70? And hitting return, we see, no, we still get 52. So these expressions don't appear to be evaluated left to right. Uh, the multiplication was done first in both cases. The multiplication was done first because it has higher precedence than addition. And you're probably familiar with this from your math classes, but we can use parentheses to override precedence. And again, this is probably familiar to you from your math class. And if we want that addition to be performed first, we can write open parentheses 2 plus 5 close parentheses that quantity times 10. And in this case, hitting return, we do get 70. Now let's consider an expression that involves division. Let's take 12 divided by 2, but also multiplication in that times 3. And depending on the order in which the operations are performed, we could get a couple of possible answers. And if the division is performed first, we'd get 12 divided by 2. That's 6. And that would be multiplied by 3. So we would get a result of 18. But if the multiplication is done first, we would get 12 divided by 6. And we should see a result of 2. Uh, since this is float division, though, that these would be float results. So let's hit return, see what we get. And it's 18. So in this case, the division was done before the multiplication. The division was done before the multiplication, not because it has higher precedence, but because multiplication and division have equal precedence. And you're probably familiar with this from your math class as well. When operators are in an expression that have equal precedence, then the expression is simply evaluated left to right, as was done here. The division was encountered before the multiplication. Note that there's never any harm in putting parentheses in an expression. So I'm going to write 12 divided by 2, but enclose that in parentheses, and then multiply that by 3. We get the same result. The parentheses are not changing the order of operations. They're merely added for clarity. So having parentheses in to provide clarity to your code can be a very good practice. OK, multiplication and division have equal precedence. But addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. We already know that multiplication has higher precedence than addition. So this implies that multiplication and division have higher precedence than addition and subtraction. 
I should also note that we can embed one set of parentheses within another and multiple sets of parentheses. So as an example of that, let's write open parentheses 12 divided by then another open parentheses 1 plus 1 and then let's close the outer parentheses times 3. So here we get that 18 again. The inner parentheses do change the order of precedence. The outer parentheses don't. To demonstrate that, let's remove all the parentheses here. Then we get 15. So that's 12 divided by 1 is carried out first. That division is done first. Then the multiplication of 1 times 3 is done. The lowest precedence goes with the addition here. So we would get 12 plus 3 is 15. Let's go back to this first example with multiple parentheses. And I'll just change the outer parentheses. Move them here. And in this case, we are changing the order of operation. Division and multiplication have equal precedence, but they're evaluated left to right normally. But now the multiplication is done first since it's enclosed within parentheses. So whatever is in parentheses has the highest precedence, and you work from the inner set to the outer set. Here we obtain a result of 2, and that's obtained by first evaluating what's in the innermost parentheses, 1 plus 1, which gives us 2. Then working our way out to the next set of parentheses, it's 2 times 3, which gives us 6. And then finally we're left with 12 divided by 6 gives us 2.0.